I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh my God. These people are dramatic. Amazing. Guys, um, I have Richard here. Okay, Richard is, um, hopefully, he is the best guy in town who will solve this particular problem of tiling for us because the first tiler destroyed the um, this veranda. So we have to redo it again. So let's see how he does it. All right, then we will interview him. All right, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys, do you remember I told you that if you have any problems, do not hide them, okay? Because if you hide, if you hide your problems, you will always face mountains of other problems that compile to make life difficult for you. And so I did not hide the fact that the Tyler made a tragic mistake with this um, first styling that we did. And so he ruined the veranda for us and also the roofing wasn't done properly. Why? Because for some reason they don't use the right tools, the right measuring tools to do it. Okay, maybe it has to do with being cheap, doing too manual. So I would say that Ghana people, the skilled artisans, because they, use, they don't use the right tools but rather they use um, manual uh, their hands and eyeball things it makes things very crude and not only crude crooked and a crude finishing and nasty looking and not refined at all and I have suffered so if you can see all, most of them are very crude finishing I will show you in a minute what I'm talking about is this particular roof here I think it's very crude and not refined and it's totally unnecessary it destroyed the facade of the building okay so we would have to remove it and then the roof some of the joints up um, between the main and the new one was leaking when the, the storm came all right I was very disappointed and the water pooled again all right I'm not going to hide the fact that there were mistakes done and I suffered for it and so I will warn you that whenever you are doing you are um, contracting somebody make sure that they have the right tools okay they have the accessories the right tools the modern tools not manual but modern to do it okay like um, how uh, Kofi the carpenter did the shelves there is no problem whatsoever and it's okay all right it, he used modern tools um, to do it power tools to do it this they use manual okay hands no good all right so we shall see so this is what we are going, he's going to do all right he's going to uh, um, actually he calls it uh, planning again all right to where the water the water pooled again if you see the line right up there okay so he's going to level it up okay here the whole place here is low uh, it's high and here it's low so we would have to tile it all over again okay and so whatever the first one that they did is totally muted so this one is what we have to do everything all over again and this cement is going to be on top of it so let's see how he does it okay these joints all right as you can see here here all right it's too cool and goes right when the rain came all right it, it dropped right there all right so I was very shocked and at the end also, right? The end here, right there, here. It was dripping, okay? And then this one, this portion is just too bad, all right? 
just look at here, all right? So, um, it's not good. Here. Oh, you started? Oh, so this, the towels are wet first. Ah. Oh. You have to soak it outside first. Ah. Oh, look at the towels. Oh, look at the difference between. Oh, there's a vast difference between the way you do it and the way the towel, this one, the one who did it. Oh, there's a vast difference. Yours is much cleaner. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. And you use very thin one. Thin one. He used a very sloppy, thick. Well, maybe because it's the floor. I, I, there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. Are you comfortable here? Do you need a chair? A chair. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. Sorry. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, I'll be out of your way. <laughs> so the length you want it to be like that, and then um, how would we plaster? Oh, so the mason will plaster yeah. the top. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wish you were mason. <laughs> then we won't have any problem. Okay. So this is up to that level then we will paint it okay ah oh, what a transformation <laughs> amazing amazing oh wow that's awesomeness it's awesomeness wow oh what was that this one yeah Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Oh, the one that the combat did. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Wow, Richard. <laughs> You're a fast one, girl. Amazing. Okay. I thousand go reach you. Instead of the cement color. Alright. What are we going to do about this window? That means we have to put some architrave around it, right? Right. Um, to to give it a finished look, the window. No, the the edges of the window because it's a little bit too crude. Yeah. I'll I'll do it. I'll, yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. you you will do some small painting. Sure. Yeah. So, but the the mason have to uh, polish it up, yeah. right? 
Okay. Make it smooth. Okay. All right. So so far so good. All right. So this is a finish close-up. Ah. So how long would it take to dry up? More time it will dry. Okay. So that I'll, 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 I'll clean it up. Okay. All right. Okay. 